Kentucky Derby 150 Saturday. Boy, what an exciting race it's going to be with 20 participants. And I'm here with, of course, Smetha Perry and Brian Atto, my co-host. They're going to try and tell us what they think, and then I'll let you know what I think about the 150th running of the Kentucky Derby. Of course, we'll start with Samantha. All right, so my top pick in the Derby is the two, Sierra Leone. I don't like the post just because he is a closing horse. I don't think that means uh, a two post is a good position for him here, but this horse has such a long stride. I'm so excited to see him run in the Derby. He's a single for me, and underneath, I'm going to use the seven, Honor Marie, who I think ran incredible in Louisiana. Brian? Well, I like the eight just a touch quite a bit. I thought he ran every bit as good as Sierra Leone did in the bluegrass. It was his first start on a fast track. Now, that remains to be seen on Saturday. I just think he's got a world of upside. And, you know, Samantha mentioned Sierra Leone's a deep, deep closer. Well, just a touch is going to get first run on him, I think, at a good price, too. He's a much better price than Sierra Leone and certainly the Curlin Florida Derby winner. There's fierceness, which the race goes through. So it's just all 817 to me. I'm a little against Sierra Leone, but we'll send it over to Ron because I think he's got much differing opinion than we do. Yeah, I'm going to go with a long shot here. Of course, I agree everything you said about fastness, but resilience. This horse coming up for really nice performance. First time blinkers in the Wood Memorial. Runs his top. Two back. Wasn't beaten that badly by Sierra Leone. That was in a sloppy track. I think this horse has upside. Hey, it's Bill Mott. You're getting Junior Alvarado. That's all we talked about last year. Put this one on the bottom of your ticket. So that's how we see it. Good luck with your selections.